Boys, I locked in and grinded for four free 86 plus overall player packs. Let's have some fun and open these up. Now, Soul Salsa family, and welcome back to another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video. On the screen right here is a $10 PlayStation gift card. We're giving away $10 gift cards almost every single day. If you want more of them, scroll down, drop a like. It's simple. Now, the packs we're going to be opening in today's video are basically every single reward you can get from the Gridiron Guardian promo. We've got multiple 86 plus overall player packs. I'm going to talk about how I got these then we'll open them now 20 second speed run on how i got these packs number one the gridiron guardian field pass is very lucrative as you guys can see an 86 overall player pack right here at level 14 and 83 plus right there another 86 plus these are really good and then this is where i proved y'all that yes i got that dog in me we got to level number three of the super plays house rules 30 wins and that's gonna give us two 86 plus overall player packs as well so count it up four in total but that's no fun let's start opening these up we're gonna start it off with an 86 plus overall B and D player pack. This is one of them from the field pass. You can go through and either take the 83 or you can go for an 86 plus. The 83 is guaranteed coins, but I'm going 86 plus here. And to be honest with you, if we pull any of the 89 overall players, I'm cheesing, I'm smiling, I'm happy. Basically, any of those cards will start on my team and they'll probably start on basically all your guys' teams as well. Pack number one of the four for the 86 plus overall player packs. Let's see who it's going to be. It's an 86 overall center. You know what? This card might play right or left guard for me. I'm going to keep him around. A BND 86 isn't horrible. Good stats. Uh, he might have value on the team. Now, beyond that, we also have some other packs to open up. We've got an 83 plus overall BND or an 81 plus auctionable and tradable. I've got two of these. So I think one of them, I'm going to go BND. One of them, I'm going to go 81 plus auctionable and tradable. The 81 plus auctionable and tradable to me is probably the better move because an 83 overall BND has no value. An 86 doesn't even have a ton of value on my team. We pull an 81, not really the greatest. Now, I do also want to try an 83 plus BND because I have seen over on Twitter that this pack has gone crazy. I've seen people probably pull more good items out of the 83 plus than the 86 plus, which makes no sense. It's crazy. But let's see if we can be one of those people that goes crazy out of the 83 plus overall BND player pack. Who are we going to get? Let's take a look. So far, it's been the minimum in every single pack we've opened so far. That's not good. Now, next up, let's go for another 86 plus overall BND player pack. These ones are absolutely more fun to open up. If we get an 89, that's going to be awesome. Like I said, I'm pretty sure any 89 will start for me. The worst one might be Chris Olave, which sucks to say, but the card doesn't really have very good stats. If we're getting a receiver, I'd rather the free Terry McLaurin. He's got one higher speed, but beggars can't be choosers. Any 89 overall player, and we're going to be happy. Next 86 plus overall player pack is an 86 overall. Tyquan Lewis, does this card have good stats? I I doubt it. 81 speed. I'm just going to quick sell him. He doesn't really have value. Now, the good thing is this card is going to quick sell for a good bit of training. It's 450 training. So basically the equivalent of a mystery pack, which isn't horrible. We'll open up a couple of those at the end of the video too, just to kind of sum up our total for this one. But continuing on, let's go with an 81 plus overall auctionable and tradable. I feel like this is probably better than the 83 plus overall BND, just in terms of coin value, like the 83 plus overall BND. I'm assuming we're probably not going to get anything too, too amazing we'd probably need an 89 to make it worth it. This pack is going to be, let's see, an 81 Tyler Huntley. So far, the minimum in every single slot. To buy Madden 25 coins for the cheapest price on the internet, check out MMOEXP by clicking the link in the description and use the promo code SWIFT at checkout for 5% off. Now, these final two packs are the House Rules Awards, which we'll see whether or not grinding House Rules was worth it based on how good these packs are going to be. You can either pick an 83 plus overall pack or two 86 plus overall BNDs. Originally, when I read this, I thought that this was 283s or 286s. It's not. So we're going to go with the 86 pluses, especially because in the title of this video, we said we're getting four free. So we're going to get four free right here. We've opened up two. We got two more to open. This should be just two cards inside of the pack. And hopefully, I mean, hopefully there's someone good. Hopefully there's an 89 plus. That would be crazy, brah. Give me an 89 right here. Okay, we got to go through another round of packs. We're going to open these ones up individually. No, we have to select both of them. This is a very weird process to go through and actually open these up. But now we can start opening and now we can see what we're going to pull. Back-to-back 86 plus packs right here. First card's going to be... An 86 Sam Darnold, zero value on the team. We're quick selling. There's just no way I could even use them, bro. But we got one more pack to open up in this video. Can we go kind of crazy right here? We'll try a couple mystery packs at the end. Honestly, not a ton for me to do in game today. With season three coming out very soon and most feared coming out very soon, I thought this was just like a fun video to open up a couple of packs, grind a little bit off camera and see if we can do well. But so far, it hasn't been good. Final card of the video 
is an 86 overall Trayvon Morig. Does this card have good stats? I think he actually does. 86 speed, 89 zone. I might use this card instead of Paul Kraus. I might sell off my Paul Kraus and throw this card in my lineup. He could have some value. But beyond that, that's not a very successful grind. I wish it was better. It didn't take me too, too long to go through and grind house rules, but it wasn't quickie. Now, I will say the packs we're opening up here in the background are basically just free training packs, so we'll take that, but I doubt we're gonna get anything too, too crazy. This card's gonna be an 80 Jared Stidham. The pack look right now is at an all-time low. EA said, nah, we're taking all your coins before season number three. We want you having nothing. And I will say, before season three comes, out i feel like right now i'm in a great situation coins wise like three mil coins i feel like my team's in a nice spot as well i feel like this game as a no money spent player hasn't been too too difficult in the past a little bit if you guys kind of agree with me let me know by dropping a comment but we got a good pull right here in 84 devin singletary actually our best pull of the video and it's gonna come from the pro rushing pack these pro rushing packs i can't lie they're juice they're probably like the best packs you can pull and interestingly enough as we get to the end right here someone tweeted or sorry grant tweeted that mystery packs right now are profit he's got a big sample size he's been doing a bunch of testing and on a per pack basis mystery packs right now if you sell off everything are profitable now of course for me i'm not doing this properly because i'm going through and i'm quick selling a lot of these cards like i'm quick selling everyone that isn't an 84 plus or an 83 plus but if you sell off every item right now mystery packs they seem to be profitable very very interesting we're going to try a couple more here at the end of the video but the numbers don't lie they're, they're saying you make coins and that is something we love to see if you guys are on the game right now i would honestly recommend you spend a little bit of that trading on mystery packs because I don't know that that's going to continue when season number three comes in the game. Pro rushing pack again. This might be the best one you can pull. I believe it probably is the best one you can pull. Starting it off with a legend right here. A 77 Antonio Camardi. We're going to get a season of boom. Can this be good? 80 overall Jalen Watson. Not too, too amazing. Tyreek Stevenson. He's been playing great for the Bears. Like I feel like the Bears have a bunch of no-name players on defense, but we got to start learning these names because the Bears defense is legit. The Bears offense is legit. I'm a big fan of watching that team. A 77 Ken Houston. We're just just getting so many cards in the pro rushing pack that there's honestly almost no way we can lose training as you guys can see right here we make 150 training and it didn't even feel like we got a good pull but like i was saying i'm a big fan of the bears right now i feel like they're playing great football 70 plus overall player pack that that's kind of brutal like and the nfc north as a whole bro i tweeted this yesterday could all four of those teams make the playoffs are those loki the four best teams in the nfc i think the lions are playing amazing the packers are playing great football the vikings they're undefeated the bears are playing amazing as well i would say those could easily be argued as the four best teams in the NFC. I really thought coming into this year, the AFC would be stronger than the NFC. That, that has not been the case. I feel like the NFC has way more depth and the balance of power has definitely shifted. The past couple of years, the AFC had a ton of depth. All those really good young quarterbacks, Lamar, Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, Pat Mahomes, CJ Stroud, but the NFC, bro, the NFC is balling this year. One more pack before we go for the video. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to scroll down and drop a like. Nah, we're not ending it off with that. We are not ending it off with a 70 plus overall player pack. That's so, that's so booty. We're not not ending it off with that. Let's see what the final pack is going to be. It's a breakout pack. Probably not the greatest. Can we get something higher than an 80? That would be dope. If you guys want to try out these packs and you have success, let me know by dropping a comment. We didn't get too lucky, but if you sell off everything, supposedly you're making coin. Until next time, I'm out. Love y'all. See ya. Peace.